The government has recently announced a massive outlay of rupees 75,000 crore for a new nationwide scheme to get rooftop solar installed over 10 million households across the country. So people will not only be able to generate their own electricity, but they'll also get around 300 units of free electricity under the central scheme. So are you one of those who are looking to get solar panels installed on your rooftop and still wondering where to begin? We have some information that will make the process easier for you. So the first thing to understand is, why do you want to opt for rooftop solar? It's of course climate friendly and will help you do your bit for the environment. But what is more appealing to middle income households is that will also help you cut down your surging power bills. Now the cost of conventional grid connected electricity is certainly going to go up in the years to come. And having an alternate source of energy could help you reduce that overall cost. So what all do you need? Now the first thing to answer is, how much is your monthly power consumption? Let's say it's about 3000 to 4000 rupees per month. Then perhaps you can look at a 3 kilowatt hour unit, which is good enough to power your lights, TV, fans, as well as your refrigerator, but not the power guzzlers like the air conditioners. It's also important to note how much is your power load sanctioned to you by your DISCOM, because a solar unit will be lesser than that. Then you have to see if, you, if the house that where you plan to get the rooftop solar installed is registered on your name because the installation on rented accommodation is not covered under the government scheme. Next that you have to see is, do you have adequate shadow free area on your terrace where the solar panels could be installed? Let's say you're looking at a 3 kilowatt hour solar unit, which is what most middle income households look at, then you need a minimum of about 250 square feet shadow free area on your terrace where the solar panels will be installed in a certain direction. Then you have to see if it's a ground floor house or a flat because you would need enough space to put the solar panels and they should be accessible enough for you to maintain them. Now this nationwide scheme is mainly targeting the rural areas and the smaller towns. Now when you have made the decision, what is the next process? So you have to take a decision whether you want to get a grid connected rooftop solar or the off grid one. Now the, the difference between the two is that one does not get uh, one does not require battery storage for off grid while the other one uh, requires battery storage. Now the government scheme is only for the grid connected rooftop solar scheme so we'll restrict ourselves to that. The decision that you have to make is whether you want to get it independently installed through a local vendor. Now that will be without any government subsidy. So here you'll have to pay the entire cost to the vendor then the designated vendor will take care of the rest of the process and you can choose the kind of solar panels which may or may not be made in India. While this process may take less time, it could cost you slightly more. But here you have the choice to decide the, uh, the kind of solar panels that you want to get installed. So you can, you know, can control the uh, quality. Now the second process is through the government uh, national subsidy scheme, which is the national rooftop solar scheme. And now most importantly, the Prime Minister Surya Uday scheme, which has been launched uh, recently. So here you go to the website, register and provide all the details, your Aadhaar card, your monthly power bill, the sanctioned power load and all your requirements. Keep all the documents ready when you are registering on the website. Now, once it's done, your DISCOM will visit the house and do a feasibility study to see if you have enough space to get rooftop solar and to determine how much kilowatt hour uh, solar panels you'd require. Now, once he gives you the NOC, then you can select a local vendor for the job uh, through the website. Now, you can do your bit of research and choose the vendor that you want to engage with and uh, they'll visit your house and complete the installation process, which can take about a few weeks to about two months. The solar panels must be made in India or you will not get the subsidy. The vendors will also help you through the entire process, including you know, installing an inverter, earthing, and the structure requirements. You can make the entire payment to the vendor. Now to just give you an estimate, uh, let's say we are looking at a three kilowatt hour unit solar panel then you would, the entire cost would be about uh, 1.5 to 1.8 lakhs. Now, which you have to make it to the vendor. Once it's done, then you apply for the installation of a net meter. Now, what is this net meter? 
Now, uh, it's important because it's basically installed so the consumer can sell the extra units generated from the solar to the grid and the government will credit him or her for the extra units in your monthly power bills. And after the solar panels and the net metering uh, is done, then you submit the details on the same portal, which is the government portal, and apply for the subsidy. Now, this may take some time. It could be from weeks to months, but you'll get the subsidy in your personal bank account. For a 3 kilowatt hour uh, uh, solar panel that we have been talking about, which is mostly the one that middle income consumers use, you'll get about 43,000 rupees which has now been uh, increased under the new government scheme to about rupees 70,000. And this subsidy starts decreasing as the value of the solar unit increases from about 3 kilowatt hour to 6 kilowatt hour and then maximum to 10 kilowatt hour uh, panel. So while the subsidy is uniform across all the states, the net metering laws are different for different states. Some states like Delhi and Uttar Pradesh also give their own subsidies. So the amount of uh, cost goes down further. So what is the entire payback period? How, how long will it take you to recover that entire cost? Well, it could range from four to five years, but it will definitely give you long-term returns. So now the main question, what about the maintenance? Well, the solar panels have to be cleaned once in a while, but they will last well for about uh, 25 years. Now with all these details, the decision is entirely up to you whether you really want to get for rooftop solar or not. But eventually in the long run, India as well as the other countries across the globe are moving towards renewable sources of energy and why not make the start now?